In this video, I'm going to show you how you can load your own skies into Luminar 4 or Luminar AI. The process is very similar. And I'm going to do this on a Windows 10 computer. Uh, I don't have a Mac, but I can put instructions that I've seen from uh, Mac users in the text description part of this video. So let's get started. On Windows, I'm just going to uh, go to my uh, Windows Explorer, and I'll do that just by clicking on Pictures. When I'm in Windows Explorer, I need to go to my main hard drive, which is uh, the C drive on this computer. So I can go to this PC and to my C drive. And then I'm going to go to Program Files, and then down to Skylum. And then if you're loading them into Luminar 4, that's where you would go. But if you want to put them in Luminar AI, then this is the folder I'm going to choose. And then after that, you're going to go to Profiles and then to Sky Textures. And here you can see all of the textures that Luminar has included in their sky pack. Now, to add your skies, simply go to another panel. Here are my skies. This is my digital pack of skies that I sell at morethanasnapshot.com. And I'm going to just click on the first one and hit Control A. That highlights all of the skies. Then I'm going to hit Control C, and that will copy all of the skies. Then I can redo, remove that. And then come back to this panel and then right click on it and then click Paste. And it says, Do you want to continue? You have to be the administrator. Say so continue. So check do this for all current items and then it'll do it all at once okay so now here are all my skies and by the way uh, if you're adding your own skies it's a good idea to name them in a sequence here you can see I have MTAS sunset skies one two three four if you're gonna add your own skies it's a good idea to do that because then it will organize them in a sequence when you look at them on Luminar so now I'm going to minimize that and open Luminar, and we'll see if this works. All right, now that I'm in Luminar AI, I'm going to click on the Creative tab, and then look at Sky AI, and then click this drop-down to see the list of skies. At the beginning, it'll be all of Luminar's skies, in my case. And then here you can see the skies that I have added in a nice sequence. And if I wanted to, I could click through them and it will apply those skies. Now it's not going to work on this particular image, but you get the idea of how to add them. So I hope this video was helpful, and if you want to download uh, my free sky pack, I'll leave a link in the description of this video, and if you want to purchase my complete sunset sky pack, I'll also have a link for that down below.